performing the slip edit. So with the slip edit, we're going to change our in and out points of one clip. So in this particular case, I have a clip over here for wheeling. We're not going to change that. Okay, this is going to hold still. Then over here, I have these people dancing in the desert. This clip is going to hold still. However, the clip in the middle of the mosque, this one, we're going to change the in and out uh, of this one. And so as you can kind of see over here, I come in, if, uh, if I come over here, I come in with, so I see the left uh, um, tower here, and I'm going to come over here and see the right tower or the minyat. Now, I'm going to go over, and over here in the tools, I'm going to choose the slip tool. I'm going to notice it's not a usable tool at this moment, but if I go down and click on a tool, now I can come over here and notice I pick on it now, and notice in the upper right hand corner of my program monitor, I have four windows. The upper left window is the end or the out point of the first clip. It's the hood hood of the uh, four wheeler. And in the right, it's the gentleman dancing. Now, in the bottom two, these are the ones that I'm changing the duration here of these two. And uh, so I'm changing where the clips are at. So I'm changing how far past the towers I go, etc. So I can say, okay, I want to start, you know, maybe not where the tower is on the left. I want to start right there type of thing. So I can change. So I'm past the tower and I let go. And I've now just kind of slid uh, or slipped that uh, particular uh, clip. Uh, like I'm sliding it back and forth. And now I can come back here and I'll hit play. And you see that the tower, it started later than in the tower. So I changed my in and out marks of this particular clip. So the first one stays the same. The third one stays the same. The middle one is the ins and outs are automatically being uh, changed as I slip this thing back and forth.